On the 6th of October 2020, the Liberian flagged Greek operated oil tanker called the Nave Andromeda left the Nigerian port of Lagos for the British port of Southampton. With a crew of 22, the tanker sailed around the coast of West Africa and north to the English Channel, where at some point on this route, the crew became aware of seven men who had illegally boarded the vessel when it was docked in Lagos. On entering the English Channel, the situation on the vessel remained tense until the morning of the 25th of October when the seven men became hostile and aggressive towards the crew, prompting the captain of the Nave Andromeda to send out a call for help. Responding to the Mayday signal, Hampshire police commented. At 10.04am today, concerns were raised to police for the welfare of the crew on board the Nave Andromeda, a vessel situated approximately six miles off the coast of Benbridge, the Isle of Wight. It was reported that a number of stairways were on board and they made verbal threats towards the crew. No one has been reported injured at this time. Over the next few hours, British authorities initiated efforts to find a peaceful resolution to the situation, whilst the Coast Guard and two police helicopters, along with a tug and two lifeboats, were sent out to track the tanker. Meanwhile, closely following the incident from London, the Ministry of Defence began forward deploying assets in the event that military assistance was required. First to move were two Merlin Mark IV helicopters from 845 Naval Air Squadron and two Wildcats from 815 Naval Air Squadron, which took off from RNAS Yo Vilton just before 1530 and landed at Royal Marine Space Pool, which is the home of the Special Boat Service. They were joined a short while later by a Chinook helicopter, callsign Lifter 01 and from the Royal Air Force's 7 Squadron, which departed from RAF Odium at around 1630 and reached Paul just before 1710. Approximately 20 minutes later, another Chinook, designated Lifter 2, also took off from RAF Odium, but instead of heading towards the south coast, Lifter 2 headed first to MOD St. Athen in South Wales, where the Special Forces Support Group is based. Arriving here at around 1800 on the 25th of October, Lifter 2 remained at St. Athen for roughly 20 minutes prior to getting airborne again and flying onto Paul, where it landed at 5 minutes to 7. In the meantime, developments have been taking place on board the Nave Andromeda, where its erratic movements throughout the early afternoon had led authorities to suspect that the crew had lost all control over the vessel. These suspicions were later confirmed when the ship, despite police telling the captain not to do so, dropped its anchor off the southeast coast of the Isle of Wight resulted in Hampshire police requesting military intervention to bring an end to the hijacking. In response to a police request, the Defence Secretary Ben Wallace and Home Secretary Priti Patel authorised Armed Forces personnel to board a ship in the English Channel and safeguard life and secure a ship that was subject to suspected hijacking. Back at Royal Marines Base Pool, Navin received the green light to go in. 16 commandos from the Special Boat Service embarked onto the two Merlin helicopters and took off for the tanker sometime between 1900 and 1920. In addition, a team of Royal Navy divers, most likely from Fleet Diving Unit 1, accompanied the SBS on board the Merlins to deal with any potential explosive devices found on board the tanker. Escorting this force were the two Wildcats from 815, whilst HMS Richmond, a Type 23 frigate which was anchored off the coast of Torquay, was put on standby to assist with the operation if necessary. Flying out across the English Channel, the helicopter force soon got ties on the ship, with the two Wildcats breaking off to provide aerial surveillance to the boarding, whilst the Merlins approached and hovered above the Andromeda's hull. From here, the SBS assault teams, covered by a couple of snipers tasked with overwatch, fast roped down onto the deck and began a methodical clearance of the tanker. Sweeping through the vessel, the men of the SBS swiftly freed the 22 crew members, who had sought refuge inside a secured room for their own safety. Simultaneously, other commandos moved on and detained the seven hijackers, who gave themselves up moments after the SBS began boarding. 
Thus, within 9 minutes of the operation commencing, the SBS had secured all of their objectives and regained complete control over the Nave Andromeda. As confirmation of the mission's success began to break at around 1945, Defence Secretary Ben Wallace commented that I commend the hard work of the armed forces and police to protect lives and secure the ship. In dark skies and worsening weather, we should all be grateful for our brave personnel. People are safe tonight, thanks to their efforts. An hour after the conclusion of the operation, the two Chinooks of 7 Squadron departed from Paul between 2045 and 2100, with Lifter 01 now operating under the call sign of Inferno 5. Interestingly, Lifter 2 didn't go straight back to RAF Odium, returning first to MOD St. Athen, possibly indicating that the Special Forces Support Group were involved in the operation in some capacity, although this is just a matter of speculation that has not been officially confirmed. <laughs>